Welcome everyone and welcome to Cards and Conversation. Ara, today we have the new Toyota Harrier, which is owned by. Sorry, it is a. It is a. Sound bro. Sound. Welcome. How are you? Hey, Jabram. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So the Harrier itself, I think for the past 10 to 15 years, the Harrier is a one of very very stable name in the country. Yes. Shabai Chine, Shabai Jane, extremely reliable. Yes. And they take to on extreme door. Yes. Are honestly speaking, a a new model is actually quite good looking as well. Yes. So we're at small intro. Are you on the car? Um, it's been like almost six months that I've owned this car. Okay. Um, basically, I was looking for an SUV, which is okay. has to be reliable. And as uh, our tradition, like we believe that if we buy a car, that needs to have a resale value. Right. right One absolutely. of the very basic things when we buy a car, we acknowledge these things. Yeah. So I had few alternatives but this was the best when I had to choose um, regarding service reliability everything well combined as, yep. basically yeah okay and it, it's not the 2.5 hybrid right so no it's the 2 liter non hybrid okay okay that's right. and so with some more time are there options chulo, like any other uh, yes I was actually looking into all SUVs within the range um, so firstly I was looking into Hyundai Tucson okay um, I was almost I had bought it but Achha. I didn't <laughs> okay. again I was also considering the Honda CRV, CRV um, yeah. the new gen I like the shape of it but the old one I didn't like it I okay, mean okay. the looks of it right I was also looking into the new Nissan X-Trail the 2023 model, 23 model yeah. yep. But the thing is, um, so many of the dealers were saying that uh, the wirings and stuff, the engines are quite complicated. So oh, if you okay. buy it, yeah, the, the workers or the mechanics might not be able to, you know, fix it or you might fix face a loss. Yeah. On issues, right. Yeah. Issues. yeah. Okay. And so, Mrithu, like, have you checked the, the Chinese market or where you settled for? Because um, for the past few years, the Chinese market has been booming. So I was wondering, have you given a to it uh, yeah I did okay. I was looking into MG and Havel I actually test drive the Havel 86 okay. the motor show and Achha. it was quite good okay but the thing you know that we also look into the reliability Absolutely. and yeah. the resale value like resale value yes exactly yeah, yeah. so if you buy these things it's a more or less temporary satisfaction okay but in the long run when you have to sell this car i don't think you will get much of its value back okay well, understand yeah that's fair big. point you mentioned the crv the tucson everything comparatively this is priced a lot more than the crv and tucson right this is yes. priced around 90 to 1 crore yep. i believe but the brand new tucson is around 55 the crv is currently around 75 so osha with this is priced a lot more don't you think Yes, uh, it is priced a lot more, but I have been into all these cars, but okay. um, the price actually, it makes sense because of the added quality okay. and the performance as well as the comfort that you get from this car. It's right. quite different from those cars. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I have you till now experience with the car till now? Um, I've got this car for like six months and yeah. I rarely take this car out. Oh, okay. I've got another car, so awesome. I use this on occasion and as okay. well as I on go weekends. to my yeah, weekends and I go to my village. So okay, okay. during that time I take it out. So in like six months I've driven it like almost two thousand kilometers. Oh, only? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so mostly it was highway kilometers. Okay. I've been driven up and down the highways. So yeah. I will have to say that that I used to go to my village uh, taking my other car, which is a premium. Okay. And after taking this car, I had spotted major differences in okay. comfort. So For that example, car used to like you know bump a lot yeah, yeah. on highways, and you know our highways are not the smoothest. Are not stable. Stable, <laughs> and you've got many potholes in it. Yeah. So this car with many potholes and bumps, everything this just manages it so, so well, well yeah. and the um, experience that you get like mm. if I drive that car and reach my destination I feel exhausted I mean, feel tired <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. on it and <laughs> if I drive this car yeah, yeah. and I can, if I get out of it I think I can drive more two hours or so right, right, it right, is that comforting yeah, yeah, yeah understandable yeah and how's the driving experience itself driving experience I would say 
that it is better. I mean, Toyota, I guess they are improving their uh, handling as well as driving experience every year uh, with to. their new <laughs> generation new cars. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, I mean, if you change the mode, there are like three modes here, okay. normal, eco and sports. Sport, yeah. I mean, if you change those modes, you can't feel much at eco, okay. but in sports, you definitely feel a change, which is that um, your steering gets heavier okay, okay, and nice. your RPM, it holds for a longer time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So yeah, these are the major differences. I think yeah, it adds up to the enjoyment of the car. Right. And in general, how's the comfort? Comfort so I, from your point of view? I would say yeah, it is it is better from many other competitors. Yeah. I think the seats are great, by the way. Yeah, the it, it's got like uh, heated and ventilated. ventilated I mean, yeah. ventilated seats are must in Bangladesh. Yeah. Given the conditions and exactly. the exactly. And in fact, like I think it's the. Uh, it's December 2nd, right? Yeah, but still, but it's so hot outside. Yeah, it uh, is. In fact, I feel I want darker. How do you turn it on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's hot it's outside. Thanks. Here. Thanks. I mean, the placements so of the hot. button are a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's pretty fast. But it's fast. It's fast. It's fast. It's fast. Yes, it's wow. technology. Pretty yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you will see at the comfort. The comfort, yeah. I mean, Add it to your surroundings, you've got like leather everywhere. Yep. So, um, yeah, you, even the steering wheel, even where you your armrest and everything, it feels good. Hmm. I mean, considering the time, the traffic in Bangladesh, yeah. you need to spend a lot of hours in cars. In, inside the car. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I think you won't be bored or get, I mean, you can enjoy this thing. And yep. you've got like Apple CarPlay and Apple Android CarPlay. Auto. Oh, okay, okay. You can also tune into music and stuff and all and that. And able speakers as well. Yeah, add oh. it to that. And so, in general, road servicing and maintenance, any any issue whatsoever? Um, considering this is a new car, yeah. I haven't been to the workshop yet. Just okay. um, basic maintenance, like checking the uh, tire pressures yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm I've just done that. Okay. Um, I will be changing the oil um soon because I haven't changed it when it came from Japan. Oh, okay. uh, so yeah, it's been a while. So yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, I will change it. But I've checked it when it okay. came there. It was good. So okay, okay. I was like, don't change it now. Let it run. Awesome. Then we'll change it later on. Oh, understood. And how much do you get per liter in fuel? Um, the thing is, yeah, I don't run this car Often, in city, yeah, yeah. but in uh, traffic, yeah. in traffic, yeah, in in Dhaka, within Dhaka, I guess, with moderate traffic, it will do like eight point five. Okay. Kilometer per liter. Which is fantastic, honestly. Uh, yeah, and in highway with, I mean. The least throttle you could apply, hmm. you'd get around nine kilometer per liter. Oh, okay, not sure. Yeah, not too bad, I think. Yeah, but uh, like you mentioned, but I think in city traffic it will decrease by a lot of. Uh, yeah, it, it will. It will definitely. Ah, uh, for sure. Yeah. And so our segment in the channel, hmm. we're going to talk about three pros and three cons. So, to the two experience to give. Mm, starting off with the cons, um, you, yeah. the first thing is the front of the car is very low. Oh, I yeah. need to. It's, it's because of the kids. Basically. Yeah, because of the kids. So in everywhere I go with high bumps and stuff, I need to be careful. Awesome. The second would be the panoramic glass roof. I cannot open, open it. Open it. Yeah, yeah, that's so weird. I that's a know. major frustration. Uh, like I don't know why I've got that. this car. I want to open it, but I can't. Yeah. Uh, the third, and I will... To, like, frost, really yeah, frost all right? this, this is the only... It take your option up. Yeah, that's oh, the one. Yeah, okay. This is the only cool part about it, I guess. It's Other fun. than you can't <laughs> open it. <again. laughs> and then? And the third will be that this car has got automatic headlights. Achha. So, it will turn on whenever it feels like there, there's not enough light. It's dark, yeah. But yeah, in Bangladesh, you've got like many places that they are dark. Yeah. You don't want the headlights to yeah, be turn on. on. Yeah. yeah, and the, this car off is project, right? off like it's it's something that if you turn it off manually, it will again turn out like after oh, one okay. or two minutes. That's, I mean, that's that's, a bit, <laughs> that's annoying. Yeah. I mean, you Understand. need to turn it off every few times. So I just ignore it. I let it be on. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> these are the three cons about it. Okay, and three pros. Three pros, I have to say, first of all, the looks of this car. Yeah. I definitely Absolutely. went in for this car because of its looks solely. Secondly, I would have to say um, the infotainment system of this, uh, okay. as it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, yeah. it's quite helpful. Very useful. 
and thirdly in general i will have to say the interior of this car okay it's very posh in yeah, yeah. terms it's well built mm-hmm. yeah and bro i, I feel like mane the a shape je hai yeah the the car with the kit kit looks the best yeah kit char looks amazing i i, I, I honestly agree with it because yeah. with the without the kitted version they are like plastics all around the car okay it's just like i feel like they've just put it together for i don't know for what reason but the kit with the kit it looks better oh what's what's what, sorry um for the i was saying that it looks better without the kit other <laughs> kit uh, without the without kit. the kit yeah. oh, like it's okay. it's more of a cleaner look overall i believe i the agree front with and it. the back as well because oh, the back another the, thing the i would like the to the light really nice. yeah and i think i would like to share is that uh this car has like many curves and many pointy parts, parts? around the part oh, okay car. so <laughs> it's very difficult to wash this car wash, to get, wash, get like every end and every spots of the car even if i go to a car wash yeah um they mostly they miss out many parts, parts and when i come back home i see that these parts are dirty mother sticking around so <laughs> that that's annoying understandable yeah yeah and it act a corner don't you think this in the sensor basically for the ESS for the lane changing assist i think yeah that's it and it's off course right off course right yeah acha acha and it says if you like in high speeds if you yeah. go to a change a lane without giving a signal yeah. i mean the car will push you back to the lane oh actually damn yeah it's not risky it's like in our country it's risky yeah it's risky yeah <laughs> and i i did this also had other options such as like uh, rear traffic alert or something if, uh-huh, if it de- yeah. detects something it will just break break as yeah, hard yeah. as it possible uh, could so i've turned risky. that off yeah. um the front collision is also turned off, turned off. because okay. you know this is bangladesh yeah, yeah, people absolutely. and everything walk in front of you yep all the time <laughs> all the time <laughs> all the time i'm bro i could just give you say i believe my if you compare it with the the other here one it is just agar model ta oi ta jokhon Ashula first Oida Bindu was a, a major hit in the country yeah. but i feel like Oida theke eta dekhte onek better just amar ekta view i i, agree, I, I agree. could be could be wrong as well but i feel like eta front and back as well combined it looks amazing our pichon theke eta pura momon hoche porsche kan on the back because of the light bar yeah. and everything it actually looks like a kan uh, my dad wanted to get the previous generation yeah yeah Uh, it is just target to be yeah, yeah exactly but i was like i don't want that car <laughs> i mean I, i i've got that car in my family like okay, my okay. other cousins own cousins have but um honestly i don't like the interior of the car acha acha okay so i was like if i want to buy if i'm going to buy i'm going to buy the new one that looks so good it does it does yeah but actor jinish i feel it like because i'm a friend of acha the 2.5 hybrid one okay. i feel like at dark it's very when i at at night it's very dark bitter ekta ondhkar lage because there are no lights or ambient lighting or what not and it's all black the seats are black the headliner is black so i feel like it too the dark lage with the dark mm. but what i felt it could be yeah. i mean uh, there are a bunch of lights i mean these switches ah, this is yeah. lit up and it oh, doesn't okay. look that bad but achha, achha. mostly i tend to like drive it so i can't uh, consider it another thing understood know. understood yeah, yeah. yeah. and am i to any future plans with the car um i've just bought it so for the time being i don't think i will be changing much of it okay. i'm more of a stock, stock guy, guy. oh yeah. yeah guy yeah yeah but i just want to mention the wheels are really nice yeah this look like, actually from japan yeah yeah bro this, you're this, lucky <laughs> these are from <laughs> japan these wheels actually the process of buying this car was quite difficult because okay. i was i i mean i've got like cousin who imports cars as a uh, own uh, showroom okay. so with him i was looking for harriers so there were two harriers which were stock i mean with the stock wheels okay. so i wanted to go get those but the auction for some reason he couldn't bid it because some one was taken off and the other one was um, taken at a high price okay. so the third we were looking for it but no cars were there so suddenly he came across a car uh, which was a, a harrier which was in a showroom in okay. uh, japan acha 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 so he sent me pictures of this car and he said that the things which stand out of this hair is the wheels, wheels. Yeah. and these wheels are like it's rare and you won't get this and it's much more expensive than the stock wheels True. so i was like okay <laughs> i'm down for it let's go yeah and i feel like my there are so many white hairiers 
in the country it's hard to stand out but these wheels help a lot yeah for sure i mean i guess the colors are very niche mm-hmm. if i have to say they're like black white um sort of silver i guess blue red yeah blue blue it's quite so difficult answer, to yeah. you you very can't hard find, to find it. yeah, yeah. So I was I, I actually on a black car the other car so I know the struggle of black cars black cars you dark need cars to, are very yeah, hard to maintain yeah it gets dusty and it gets swirl marks and it looks so bad you yeah. have to maintain it quite well yeah. so I was like let's change it let's go for another color <laughs> থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ ফর টাইম থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ ফর হ্যাভিং নো প্রবলেম